Okay, I'm just going to throw this in here in my vlog video because I'm not making a whole video for this. This is my replacement canvas from Uniquely Down Under. As you recall, the first one I got was just filled with rivers. Now this one, I mean, you can see that it's wavy, right? I, and I, I'm, I'm scared to open it up, actually. I just wish they could do this on poured glue. But the Max Colors, the, the factory that does our Max Colors, only does double-sided adhesive. I just, okay. So let me show you. It came in this box. Hang on. It came in this box, <clears throat> just like the last time. It came in the box, okay? And when I opened up the box, I looked in and I saw this. So there are like three of these in here. There's still two more inside the box that I can't get out. They're, they're still in there. So it came in, see? It came in like a bubble tube in the box. And then again, just like the last time, it came on this itty bitty little foam roller, which I don't think does the painting any justice. When you wrapped a painting this tight on something this small, and then you try to flatten it out, what's that tape gonna do? I just, I, I don't know. I think if they had wrapped it loosely, um, this did not come with drills, but if it had drills, wrap it around the drills so that then you have a canvas that's like this big around instead of one that's this big around. Think about that tape. It has less bend it has to do, right? So I have so ever carefully undid the tape because it was, it was taped as well, right? It had all this tape. So I undid the tape and I just let it sit. And then I carefully got in there and I just expanded it a little bit and made it grow until it got to a fairly good size, right? Then I rolled it. I, I rolled it the opposite. Like I, I started at one end and I rolled it and made it larger until I unrolled the whole thing. I know that's hard to explain. I've been ever so gentle with it. That's what my point is. And now I've got it laying here flat with things on it. It feels super bumpy right here. I mean, you can kind of see right here. We got ridges. Look at the ridges. I, I mean, it's not perfectly flat for sure. And I'm just fearing that this is going to be bubbles and rivers. There's my dog. Coffee. Shh. Shh. She's going to keep barking. So I'll show you what it looks like when I pull back some paper. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it has marks on it, like they look like lines, but I think they're just like where the tape was stuck to the canvas. Like see those lines right there? But they're not raised. So I'm happy with that. I, I felt them, I've done this, and I'm like, okay, I don't feel bumps. I don't feel bumps. I see some lines on it, but nothing feels raised. So that's excellent. I think, I think, oh, let go, let go. That's really sticky right there. Super sticky, I don't know why. But this feels smooth. And as long as it's smooth, the drills will lay flat. So, so far, so good. I don't mind that you can see these little lines in it. Like if I can see them again, if I can get them for you again. Let's see, you can see the little lines, but see here, there's lines, but I think it's just a mark on the tape. You know what I mean? Like the paper was stuck to it and it made a mark, but it didn't pull the tape up. <sighs> crossing my fingers, you guys, crossing my fingers. It looks good so far. So I'm just going to throw this into a vlog video because I don't feel like doing a whole video for this. Let me explain what I have here. First of all, well, let me show you these. You, you're probably all familiar with these. These are those sticky pads. And I thought they would be cool to like give away with prizes and stuff for people who want a little sticky pad, you know? 
You want to keep your drill tray in one place or whatever. These will stick. I'm not going to open them up and get them all icky and stuff because they're going to go on some of my prizes. So there's that. Okay. All right. So I got that. Amazon. Yes. This is all Amazon. All right. Okay. I'll put those in there later because they're going to be difficult. <laughs> I also ordered these. These are interesting. Do I have to tear this? I think I have to tear this. Yeah. Got to tear this little top off here. And this is stickers. And I'm trying to get, well, actually, I don't know if they're stickers or if they're more like little cardstock items. You know what I mean? But when I start doing some of my scrapbooking, <laughs> scrapbooking some of my diamond paintings, I thought, I need little cute things to decorate with. And so I saw these. They see, they are, they're cardstock. They're not stickers. So, I mean, cute little things like, you know, hey, have a cassette tape. <laughs> And some sunglasses and flowers and feathers. It's just a cute assortment. Oh, I like this. Look at this one. That's cute. Just a cute little assortment. Hello. <laughs> of things I could decorate with. Birds and you can see it, right? Flowers. There's a whole bunch of them. Some are larger. Some are smaller. What is this? A paper airplane? <laughs> All right. So I got those. All right. Just, just fun little stuff. Scrapbooking. All right. Now, I have two books here. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. I bought this one for my secret Santa for the retreat. And then I realized, oh, wait, it is a peach tree bluff novel. And it is um, the third one. And I thought, well, I don't want to give, um, I don't want to give my secret Santa a book that's the third one in a series. So I kept this one and I gave her a different one. And so I went and picked up number one and two. <laughs> So I got number one and two so that now I can start reading the whole series. I don't know which one's which, but they're all this Southern, uh, slightly south of simple, the secret to Southern charm, the Southern side of paradise. So it's all these Southern type novels. They all sounded good. And I thought, well, there, three books. I got a series going. Okay, cool. And then this, I keep hearing about this person, Sachin Sachdiva, from the coloring people. And I thought, okay, let me order one. I love to color by number. I prefer to color by number because, you know, the work's done for me. I don't have to make choices. So look, it lists all the colors right here for all of the numbers. It's all done for you. And then you just color. And so I thought I would try one. And there's stained glass. I love stained glass. There you go. Calm, peaceful palm trees. Yes. All right. So there you go some viney flowers. Oh, here you can do some swatching, apparently. Color your colors. There you go. It's good. Oh, super cute. I just thought I'd try it. All right. So that's what I got from Amazon. Like I said, I thought I would just throw this in here in the vlog video because I don't want to do a whole dedicated video for it. There's not that much here. So that's what I got from my recent Amazon purchase. All right. I'll be back and talk to you later. But we're downtown, brought everybody downtown to see everything and went to Cupies for lunch. Yay. Yeah. Went to the peanut shop. We're showing the kids the capital over here. And uh, went to the peanut shop and got candy. Mm. This is so good. No, <laughs> what are you eating? What are you having? Um, I had fishes. Oh, like Swedish <laughs> fish? Yeah. Are they chewy? Uh, chewy and fruity and gummy? Yeah. 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 So yeah, we're just checking everything out down here, and they're eating some candy. There is a there is a popcorn sign, but it's not really a popcorn I know, right? store, and the, it was just an old sign. Yeah, the popcorn store is gone. Popcorn store is gone. Yeah. Huh. We could have gotten just regular popcorn at the peanut shop, but okay. I know we were looking for like some fancy popcorn. Ooh. But, yeah, so your papa works down here at all these buildings because he takes stuff to all these buildings and takes computers to all these people and stuff like that. That's what he does. Pretty cool, huh? Right. So Today here. it's finally not raining. No, it's, it's not. It's Brother, I got day. purple. Oh, you Son, have spree. Please sprees. dry up the mosquitoes. No. Uh-oh, lost your spree. <laughs> oh, look, there's another purple one. Mom got you another purple spree. <laughs> All right, let's think. This is fun? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh.
feel that nice breeze blowing? Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? Because it was like... I know, blow I right in your face. I just that way. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to stop this video. All right, let's push the stop button. To Old Town. Now we're going to take a little walk through Old Town. This is a this is a, a barbecue place. It's called Meat. They have really really good like barbecue stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of people come down here to go to Meat. I think the popcorn shop is down this way. What is this thing right here? Hi. We're gonna get wet at the fish ladder because it's starting to rain. But we came to see the fish ladder where the fish can come through here and swim around so they can get upstream and everybody's running now because they're getting wet. Or they're hiding under the tree over here. <laughs> We're gonna hide under the tree. But the fish have to swim around and then they can get upriver. And we're getting wet, so I'm gonna go. I saw a white truck in my driveway when I woke up just now. Uh-huh. Let's see. What a way to wake up, right? <laughs> There's my craftably order. I, I'm excited. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I know I haven't actually vlogged and spoken to you in a while, but I'm here. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I took off a few days, spent some time with my husband and the kids that were here from Texas. We did some things. I do have some footage from things that we did. Um, here we are again. Another rainy day. Yeah, it just wants to rain all the time. Um, or it's just hot. The very nice days are few and far between. Anyhow, um, what's been going on besides that? I got my craftably order yesterday. That was exciting. Um, if you're a member of my channel, you get to see a little video, just a little video. Um, and so I'm doing unboxings and videos and whatnot, working on my craftably truck. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm keeping busy. Um, big truck just went by, sorry. I just saw the mailman go by too. Oh, look it. Hey, look who's here. Let me turn the camera around real quick. Let me show you real quick. Can you see? That's my little bunny. That's my little bunny that just hangs out here in the yard, you know, just here or over there, just hangs out. My little bunny has gotten bigger. Yeah. Anyhow, super cute little bunny. Um, so last night, last night was a bad night. I couldn't sleep. It gets worse too. It just gets worse. I couldn't sleep because we had some trauma. Here's my blanket. I was up working on my blanket last night for about an hour or so because I couldn't sleep. Um, so I got some of that done. It's looking really good. I like, I love this ombre effect. You know, we got the light purples that move into the teals that moves into the pink and purple. I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. And then of course, it will reverse as we get colder again, you know, but I just love how it's turning out. I thought I would show you that. Um, so Dale has been working early, like early mornings, which means he goes to bed early. Okay, not a big deal. I go and I put the chickens and the ducks in. I wait until it's dark because we've learned that that's when they go in the best so I go out and there's a bunch of raccoons. I scared me to death. I mean, there were raccoons. There were four of them. They were all over the place. There was one big one that was up by the, the garage and I was yelling at that one, trying to make it go away. And it finally ran off. And then I look in the pen, all the ducks and the chickens are in. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's three raccoons in the pen. And it was a mama and two babies. And I was like, you gotta get out of here. You know, they were just eating the food and stuff that was in there for the ducks. And I just kept kind of hollering at them, get, 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 you know. And I had a flashlight and I was like flashing them with the light and stuff. Get out of here, get out of here. Mama scooted out pretty quickly. One of the babies followed her and the other one was just like, oh, where'd you go? 
I don't know how to get out. Oh my gosh. So I was like, I was really kind of scared. I mean, you never know these wild creatures, what they're going to do. And I was out there in shorts and flip flops and no, no protection at all. So they finally, finally, the one finally managed to get out and they scooted off out into the berries and took off. And I closed everybody up and I kind of did a little, you know, check to see everybody was there. Big ones, little ones, all that. Well, Dale gets up this morning and he kind of woke me up. I mean, I've slept about two or three hours, you know. Um, and he's like, well, I we woke up in the middle of the night, both of us, for some reason. And I told him then in the middle of the night what had happened. So he comes in in the morning and he thinks that one of the ducks is really, really injured. Like, I won't be graphic, but he thought she was missing some parts or something. And I'm like, oh my God. I didn't really notice that when I was out there, but it was dark and everything, you know? So I'm like, I go out this morning and there's one duck, one of the young ducks, one of the really cute little ducks, and she's just laying out there. She's not really moving, but she's alert and she's just kind of laying there and I can tell that something's happened to her. I don't know what, I can tell that, you know, something's, attacked her in some way but she's you know I don't know good lord so he's coming home in just a couple hours I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave him in because everybody will leave and they'll leave her I don't think she can get out and go with them so ugh. anyhow I'm gonna go get the mail right now and I'm gonna make a video because I have a great big bag of interesting things I'll show you. It's a big fat bag, all right? It's got like boxes and things. So fun stuff. I can hardly wait to get into that. Um, so yeah, let me get to it. And uh, I'll give you an update later what's up with the ducky. I hope that she's okay. Um, you know, not hurt too bad. I mean, I know she has been hurt, but, uh, see, see why I don't like raccoons? See, see? All right. I'll talk to you later. Hey, everybody. Um, it's like Thursday, I think. Yeah, it's been quite a crazy week. Um, Monday, Monday, I decided I was going to get outside and weed just one flower bed. Um... And I spent about, I don't know, 40 minutes out there. And of course I did the wrong thing apparently, which was just bend over, pull the weeds. I shouldn't have done that. So I hurt my back. I mean, I don't think I hurt my back back. I think I hurt the muscle in my back. I think I got a muscle all pulled and tightened or something. And so it just started hurting Monday night really bad. And I think I talked about it in my whipping chat. And Tuesday all day, I just hobbled around. I couldn't hardly move. By Tuesday evening, I could walk a little bit better. I went for a short walk down the road, just a short ways. <laughs> and then yesterday, of course, being Wednesday, I was like, oh, okay, well, it's, it's better. Not completely gone, but better. So anyhow, um, sad news yesterday, sad news. I did put it on my community page, my community tab. The valiant effort of the duck, you guys. I thought I thought the duck was doing okay. I really did. The wounds were healing, you know, it could get around a little bit. Didn't make it, you guys. Duck didn't make it. Dale came in yesterday when he got home from work and he was like, mm, we lost the duck. I was like, oh man. I think it was just too much trying to learn how to get around without, you know, the use of the one leg and it wasn't getting up very well. It wasn't eating very much. I'm certain that's what actually got it was not eating. It's sad. You know, it's sad. I had high hopes. Um, didn't turn out. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. So I got to have lunch yesterday with my best friend. That doesn't happen very often. She only has a few weeks left, you know, before school starts again. And I hope to have lunch again. We're still trying to get like a group friend lunch. And it's like this person's going here and this person's going here. And I got this going on. And it's like, 
it's just not happening. You know, it's not happening. So we're going to try. We're going to try again for maybe next week. And if that doesn't work, her and I can go to lunch again. It's fine with me. I'll just, you know, we'll keep trying. Anyhow, I have a bunch of stuff to do today. I'm going to film, 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 film. Uh, I'm going to try to get all of this stuff done. I got like five packages on my porch yesterday. I got a bunch of books to do. I'm going to try to get everything done. I'm going to try to get in to get my hair done tomorrow because I canceled it for Tuesday because I knew I couldn't sit long enough to get my hair done. So I'm going to try to get that done tomorrow. I've got a couple other things I got to get done because we're going on vacation. Yeah, going on vacation, whatever the... Like it's actually the second week of August, not that very first week. Second week of August, I think we leave on the 7th or the 8th or something like that. I just realized yesterday we're going to be gone during the twins' birthday. We're going to spend the twins' birthday with them in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So there's that. Um, real quick, let me give you a little update. Um, for the book club, we're finishing A Court of Thorns and Roses this week. This is the last week we're finishing up the book. Um, can't wait to see how it finishes. The girl's got some challenges she's got to complete to, I don't know, be with her man. I don't know how that's going to turn out. So we'll see. We decided we were going to do go ahead and do the next one, which is A Court of Mist and Fury. Clearly, I have my book here. Um, it's a fat one. It's 600 pages. We're going to try to do it in six weeks. I will take a week off while I'm on vacation. I'm not going to do book club that week. But we're going to try to do 100 pages a week, six weeks, bang it out, see what's going on. After that, we don't know if we're going to continue with the series. I might stop there and just if people want to continue, they can continue the series on their own. But we are going to do that one. Okay. Um, the other book I've been reading is called Slightly South of Simple, Christy Woodson Harvey. I'm only about 50, 60 pages into it. But it's about a mom who has three grown daughters. The three grown daughters have been out, you know, living their life, doing whatever. And for all kinds of different reasons, all three of them are coming back home to this little town in Georgia. Um, and they're going to hang out together, I guess. This is part of a series. I bought this one because I, I was going to give the third one away to my secret Santa, Ashlyn. <laughs> But I thought that would be silly of me to give her the third book in a series. So I kept it and I bought the first two. Anyhow, um, my best friend gave me my birthday present yesterday. I got a book. I got some cute little lawn ornaments. That was fun. So I'm going to take off now and I'm going to film, film, film. I got a bunch of stuff to film. Lots of stuff to film. I think I'm going to film some stuff outside today too because it's really nice today. I just chased off a heron. Great big old blue heron. Just made him fly away. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to get filming now. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.